And in this local four update, there's been an arrest in a dramatic bank robbery. We told you about it last night at 11. Two Good Samaritans ran after the would be robber from this Chase Bank in the Hollywood Market in Madison Heights. Now, as he drove off, he actually dropped the money. Police were looking for this man. He was spotted in Warren and police chased him all the way to Wayne State, where he crashed his car, tried to carjack another, but police were able to catch him. He's a suspect in other robberies as well, but for now, he's off the the streets and police have a man in custody after gunfire in New Baltimore this morning. It happened at the Margot Manor apartment complex on 23 Mile Road. Investigators say two men were fighting over some family issues and one man shot the other. The alleged shooter was quickly taken into custody. He could face charges by tomorrow morning and good news. The victim has already been released from the hospital. President Trump spent part of his Thanksgiving paying tribute to America's military, but he also stirred up more controversy on immigration. The president handed out meals to Coast Guard members at a station near his Mar-a-Lago estate. He's facing growing criticism for not visiting soldiers in combat zones, although the president says that could happen in the future. Today, the president was asked about his long-delayed border wall, and he threatened drastic action. It gets to a level where we are going to lose control or where people are going to start getting hurt. We will close entry into the country for a period of time until we can get it under control. The, entire border, we the whole border. Country. I mean the whole border. And, Mexico will not and the president also once again attacked the Ninth Circuit Court, continuing a debate that's drawn criticism from the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court.